Welcome back dreamers, it's Tina here and today I'm going to do a special request tutorial on how I do my acrylic pour paintings. The materials that I use for this project are a little non-conventional. So first I use a large foil pan, a smaller foil pan, this one I actually bake brownies in so I'm not going to use the bottom part, just the top plastic piece. The plastic cover will be used inside the larger foil pan. I also use water, but I use this small measuring cup to help me distribute it. So here's where I truly show that I'm a crafty mom. These are fruit cups and applesauce cups. My kids eat them all the time as a snack. I save them to use for projects like this. <laughs> And finally, a variety of the inexpensive acrylic paint you can get from any craft store. All right, let's get started. First, I'm gonna take that plastic cover from the smaller foil pan and place it in the large foil pan. This is gonna serve as the stand for my canvas. See, here's my canvas. <laughs> See, now the canvas is elevated. I'm using various shades of blue for my ocean-themed painting. I'm going to use one of my applesauce cups and add a little bit of the paint to the bottom of it. Now that I have added a small amount of paint to the bottom of the cup, I'm gonna thin it out just a little bit with some regular water. I'm using a paintbrush to mix it up. You wanna stir it up pretty well, and you wanna make sure that it's not too thin and not too thick. If it's too thin, just add some more paint to it, and if it's too thick, then add some more water. This might take a few times of going back and forth between if it's too thick or too thin before you get it just right. You want it to be slightly runny, but not too watery. It's gotta be the right consistency so that it'll spread when you pour it. Since I used my paintbrush to mix my first shade of blue, I'm gonna use that leftover paint on my brush and just brush it along the sides of the canvas. This step is optional. I just like to add it so that there's less blank space on the sides when the paint is poured and dripping off. Now I've mixed up all my colors and I'm just about ready to paint. I'm going for an ocean themed painting. So I'm using a variety of shades of blue and brown and gold in order to kind of give it that ocean feel. To start my painting, I'm going to add some white paint to the top of the canvas. This just allows the paint to flow more easily on the canvas when I start to pour it. After a lot of prep, I am finally ready to paint. I'm using my first shade of blue to make little wave-like lines across the canvas. I'm going to repeat this process until the paint really starts to flow and drip off the sides. So there are many ways to do a pour painting. One way that you can do it is with one cup and to layer the paint in that one cup. I prefer to use multiple cups with multiple colors. It just allows me to have a little bit more control as to where the paint actually goes. Don't get me wrong, I do love the one cup pour paintings, but I do like doing it this way because it allows me to have a little bit more control, especially when I have a theme like this one in mind. If the paint seems to be pooling up on top of the canvas, use the larger foil pan and gently just rock it back and forth and tilt it in order to help spread the paint and to get it to flow. I'm going to keep adding paint until I don't see any more blank spots and that I don't see parts of the actual canvas peeking through my painting. Yep, still adding more paint. And even more paint. At this point, the paint is definitely starting to flow, but it does still need me to shake it and tilt it a little bit just to help make it swirl and to flow a lot easier. 
My canvas is finally completely covered with all of the paint colors that I had. And the paint dripped off the sides of the canvas really nicely. Now I'm just gonna let it dry. The finished product. For it to be an abstract painting, it turned out really nice. It definitely gives off the feel of the ocean and the sand. I love it so much. Thanks again for the special request for tutorials like this one. Leave us a comment below if there's an art project that you would like to see us attempt to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to check us out on the social media links that I have listed down below. Thanks so much for watching, dreamers. Until next time, bye.